Welcome to Crafting Unedited. My name's Sierra and today we are going to talk about this little error button. Um, so, or alert thing. <laughs> so in design space, I get this question a lot and pretty much every group that I am in on Facebook and just in general. I get asked, why am I getting an error message? Why can't I print? Why can't I cut? Why can't I do this? And it's all because of this little guy right here, this little triangle with an exclamation point. It is madness. Now, if you've subscribed and you've watched any of my other videos, you'll see that I talk about this little thing here in quite a few of them, actually. And I tell you what it's all about, but today I want to just talk about that error message and why you're getting it and how to fix it. Um, it it's really a design space flaw. It's something that Cricut may or may not be working on. I know that lots of people complain about it and I know that it is an issue that um, they want to print and cut larger images. It's just not possible at this time. So. There are ways around it, but for today, what we are going to do is I'm just going to show you what it means and how to fix it or how to get rid of it or adjust your product to make it, make it work. Anyways, moving on. All right, so the reason why you're getting the error message is pretty simple. So most people don't even realize it until they do this. They're like, oh, okay, I'm ready to go. I got my design ready. Uh, what? Project incompatible. Huh? Huh? Everything on here should be compatible, right? It's a print and cut and then you've got your decal. Why isn't it working? Wrong, all right? On any machine, it doesn't matter, Maker, Explorer, Joy, Expression, any of the machines, it's going to do the same thing. Again, I don't know why, but it's going to do it. Um, so the reason why the project is incompatible and it doesn't tell you why here. It just says this project is not supported by your current machine selection. To resolve, select OK and adjust the affected layers. So one, it tells you that it's not supported by your selected machine. Well, the maker is, <laughs> if it was any of the machines that was going to work on, it would be the maker, right? Yeah, so um, the reason why it's not supported by your machine is because if you just click on the little triangle it says not supported by maker image is too large reduced image size to 6.75 by 9.25 or less again doesn't matter what kind of machine it is if I select the joy or the explorer family it's going to say the same thing except for for the joy it would say something way smaller than 9.25 by 6.75 so the only way to fix this is to select all because I want it to scale properly and go uh, 6.75 see what that does that way it's going to be 6.75 by 6.75 so that means I'm going to have a whole bunch of blank space around my print and cut image this image specifically is a bad example of uh, what I'm going to talk to you or what I'm talking to you about because I <laughs> It's a product mock-up. I would not be printing and cutting just this piece. That would be really silly of me. But what I can do is show you another one. So we're just going to go to new here. Replace. I don't want to save that because I don't want it to be that small. All right. We're going to just select Jojo here. Or actually Mama Bear. We'll select Mama Bear. Not those other two. Come on. I said no. Mama Bear with some cool shades. All right, so here we've got Mama Bear, but I want to do something different. I don't want just black and white Mama Bear. I want patterned Mama Bear, which means I'm gonna have to print then cut it. Ooh, look at that plaid. I actually really like that, but I want it to be, we're gonna go, this is, I show you how to do this in another video, so if, if you want to actually know how I'm doing this, that, that's what you would see. There we go. I like that. That's pretty cool. But now, because I selected a print and cut, it is obviously way too big. It's not, it doesn't like it. So, what we have to do, because one or the other 
is more than it should be. So this should be no bigger than 6.75 and this should be no bigger than 9.25. The way around that without altering your image to look kind of wonky is to select one or the other. I will typically go because this is already 8.863 if I make it any bigger then this is going to be bigger so whoopsie we're gonna undo that <laughs> now it's gonna take forever to come back to life undo let's get you bigger all right so the width is what we're going to change for this one we're gonna go 6.75 perfect right right and now, because I know that I still have like two inches down here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another one just to put it there because I don't want to waste the space. So let's see. What can I print and cut here? Do, do, do. Hmm. Hmm. Bear with me. I want to find something fun. Something fun, but not too crazy. You know, don't want to get too crazy. Well, let's just go to images, not my downloads. Um, browser. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Quick, 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 quick. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Something fun that I can do that would be great for about two inches of space. A little over two inches of space. Mm hmm. So while I look for this, let's let's chat about that subscription. Oh, these are fun. Let's do some pineapples. Yeah, that was definitely a squirrel moment. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so if you have not yet, please do go and subscribe to my channel. Reason being, it, it, one, it's very simple. You just look below what you're watching right now and there's a red button that says subscribe. If you subscribe, you will always know when I am on. Always. That way, when I post something new, it's easy. All you gotta do is say, hey, I'm here. And I'll be there for you. I'll, I'll show you what to do. I'll, show, I'll guide you. So, subscribe. And, ooh, that's a fun little T-Rex there. Oh, I like that. Ew, people. If you subscribe, what you get out of it, is lots of my fun, quirky, silly squirrel moments like you just witnessed. Because <laughs> that's what I do. I have lots of squirrel moments. I love this. I think this is so adorable. That's not going to work. And that's not going to work. So we've got these guys. And now what you're going to do. You see this? Why did that come out plaid? Maybe I missed that when I... Oh well. All right. So now what we're going to do, because if you just go to make it like this, it's going to automatically make it onto two. And we don't want that. Actually, it's not going to because this is a cut. In. A cut only decal. I don't want to cut. I want to print, then cut. All right, so what we're going to do <coughs> is go to shapes, square, and unlock the edges. We're gonna go 6.75 by 9.25. Make it that big, and then as you can see, it barely, barely fits. So we're gonna arrange, send to back. And here you can see where this is actually going to fit, if it's going to fit. So I'm going to make my bear just a teeny bit smaller so that I can fit my avocado guys on here. And now I'm going to make my background white. There we go. So I'm glad that I did that because you can still see here where it says best is cut off. And we don't want that. Um, the other way around because I don't want to make this much smaller. Well, I guess for the sake of this video, it doesn't really matter. All right, there we go. So now I have two decals on one sheet. 
but it's not going to cut like that. When you go over to make it, it is going to do the same thing and go onto one sheet. So what we're going to do is hide that square. We know where we have it, it works. So we're going to attach them. And by attaching them, what that does is it tells Design Space that you want it all on one sheet and voila! You have an eight and a half by 11 sheet of print then cut space, which is what it should be because that is about what you're going to get on your, um, when you get the print then cut sheet. That's the size that you're going to get. So you want to be able to utilize that whole space, right? You don't want it to be just a corner of it and have all this other stuff because you can't reuse that. It's not going to work. You can't put that back through your printer. So that is my hack. There's a whole video on that whole process. Make sure that you go back and watch it if that's something that you want to do and you don't like wasting product like me. And that, my friends, is why you get that little error message and how to fix it. <laughs> because if you make this any bigger, and I mean any bigger, if you go, it already made it smaller. If you go 9.26, boom, there it is. You, you can't do it. It won't let you. It says that it's not supported. has to be exactly 9.25 by 6.75 or less. Nothing bigger. Won't work. But it works if you do it this way. <laughs> so, all right, friends. I really hope that you enjoyed this. I know I did, and I love teaching you guys. So make sure that you subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know how I can help you. What kind of tips and tricks are you looking for? What are you having trouble with? What are you struggling with? Tell me how I can help you so that I can get to learning it myself. Until next time, we'll see you later, my crafty people.